Back home here in India and in Chennai, India's sixth largest city is going through a severe water crisis and Tamil Nadu government has decided to provide some relief to its people. The first train carrying water to part Chennai has reached the city from Velour. After the acute water crisis in Chennai, Tamil Nadu government has decided uh, to bring water from Jolapret uh, in Velour district to Chennai. 50 wagons of this train with a capacity of 50 kilolitres uh, each would transport 2.5 million litres. Uh, now, each trip with two trains available for this purpose, the railway authorities are trying to supply at least 7.5 million litres a day. The city is grappling with acute water shortage. Four reservoirs that supply drinking water to Chennai are almost empty. Last month, the Tamil Nadu state government declared 17 districts as drought hit. It included Chennai as well. All the 17 districts had recorded deficit rainfall between 19 to 59 percent. And according to estimates, Chennai and its outskirts had more than 6,000 water bodies in the form of lakes and ponds, of which only... Uh, 3,896 now remain. In the city itself, around 150 such water bodies have disappeared. Successive governments have gone on to build highways, residential complexes and roads by filling these water bodies. In addition, rampant, rampant disposal of sewage waste, garbage inside canals, rivers and lakes in the city over the years has only worsened the situation. But the acute water shortage is not unique to just Chennai and almost half of India is facing a drinking water crisis. The Niti Aayog, of course, says that by 2020, uh, half of the metropolitan cities will be without water. That includes New Delhi. Now, Siddharth MP is now joining us live from Chennai for the latest on the Chennai water crisis. And Siddharth, well, certainly some relief there for the residents of Chennai, that water coming in from other parts of Tamil Nadu. But what is the government planning to do in general about, uh, uh, well, getting the taps running again? Well, certainly, like you said, uh, this is only a temporary measure and a knee-jerk reaction to what is otherwise a very, very huge crisis that Chennai is faced with because it is being said that this is Chennai's worst water crisis in over two decades. And clearly now the society, different members of the society and different strata of society are taking all measures that they can to make sure that their water consumption is cut to a bare minimum. Restaurants are now avoiding washing plates and instead they're uh, serving food on plantain leaves and also a lot of uh, commercial establishments such as automobile showrooms and service centers are now dry washing vehicles. So this is what uh, Chennai, its common people are doing. The government is doing what they can, but in terms of water crisis, it's not important to be reactive, but rather it's important to be proactive where the government could have taken more measures to ensure that this situation could have been avoided and ameliorated, ameliorated before it even happened. Primarily because of the fact that in 2017 and 18, Chennai had uh, very less rainfall. It was severely deficit deficit rainfall and this was enough indication that the situation in Chennai in 2019 wouldn't be too good. So these two years was when the government could have taken measures and rather than act acting uh, reactively to such an issue like water crisis, it's better to go proactive and then look at what could have been done rather than now what can be done. Absolutely.